Hey, orange one here. So we're back in the lab that we were at um, recently. We've got a couple spare batteries. Our battery power actually right now is a little bit lower than it, I would like it to be, but um, yeah, we're gonna just try and explore like this level a little bit. Our our temperature is falling. I'm not going to use our power just quite yet though. I'm basically going to hold off on doing that until we've got, um... oh look. This there's a light here. A prisoner containment. Um sure. We'll try and hack in. We'll see what zombies are in here. There might be something with like some good cybernetics or something. Um what do we have? That looks like a mini nuke, right? Yeah, there's a mini nuke there. <laughs> okay. I'm glad that uh I opened that up. And yeah, that is, I and mean, there's a hazmat robot there, there's some zombie wrestler grabber, there's nothing really too concerning in here. Yeah, we would, there's this broken glass there and there. Um, it looks like we could actually just get in here. Yeah, we don't need to let those, uh, those zombies out. We just uh, sneak our way in. I'm going to actually just have a... Have these drinks though. Let's see, I'm just gonna grab that. Excuse me. Um <laughs> that's a crazy thing to loot. Like an absolute th insane thing, but it's like perfect for Nosh, you know. We're gonna have a nuke in the back of our car. I wonder if that's why our friend is having irradiation issues. It might be that the, that we have like something irradiated, like next to him or something. Uh, what about... Um, let's have a look and just see what our storage is like around us. That's our best option right here. Yep. Nice. Okay, well, let's put that mini nuke there. Actually, just for a second, because we're here, let's just uh, get some battery power. Here, there we go. Yep, I'll take those. Um, and in case you're wondering, our friend, he's, uh, where is he right now? Oh, he's he's up here. And he should be, yeah, he's, he's asleep. He's tired, thirsty, and hungry, but he's not like, su like starving anymore or like super thirsty. I managed to get him enough water. That being said, we're gonna want to probably source some water near um, sometime soon, so we might want to go. I don't know. I might find like a pond, or yeah, like this right here. This pond might be a good thing for us to go to with the car just to get some water, because we're just a little low, which is not a big deal, but it just makes things a little bit annoying. So let's see, we explored down there, and our temperature is fine. Having this thermal outfit gives us a little bit extra uh, warmth anyways, you know? So um, although we're chilly and we're falling, it's not doing so like that fast. Like our temperature is not going down super, super fast. And if we need to, we can also get like maybe a blanket or something on. Our mouth might be frostbitten soon. Um, can I actually, yeah, wrap that tighter? I think that gives me more warmth on that body part. I mean, it's not great. The eyes, and, uh, it's more the mouth. Right now, the mouth is just a little cold. I could probably do something about that, to be honest. Oh, look, there's a heavy battery with some uh, power there for me. Cool. Um, let's turn this on, just because we can. I'm going to grab that because we have the capacity to do so. That's weird. I could have sworn this is like the CBM room, right? There's no CBMs on display there. Okay, just broken glass. Uh, what do we have here? Just like a hallway. And what about in here? Okay, a little food. What do we have here? Yeah, sure, we'll have a little snack. And what about here? Nice. Oh man, Nash is just like having a sweet tooth party. Oh, someone's gone and smashed all the food in there. 
Well, there's some stuff around here, though. There's some evaporated milk and dried lentils. Um, I'm gonna grab the dried lentils. That's a pretty good thing to have. And uh, the soda is... Sure, I'm gonna drink the soda. No, it's all frozen, actually. I'm gonna grab that, though. Actually, before we... I think that we're in the clear because I haven't heard anything stepping around. Okay, it's the elevator. Yeah. Okay, we're cool. There's some water in that toilet as well, if we really were desperate. Uh, library. Okay, sure. Um, so... Okay, we were able to hack our way in. Um, I'm gonna put safe mode on, just in case. Because, like, last time I went into a library here, it did not... It, it was a... Uh, it's a robot or something, and it, it was not good. But here, we seem to be doing just, just fine, actually. And I think at this point we're chilly, but we're not, like, very cold. And I think chili is actually fine, so I'm not actually going to use our temperature thing as of right now. We'll just eat the, the stuff that we can. And I think that that's probably good. Yeah, there's not going to be anything here, though, because it looks like, yeah, all the food has been, like, looted, so to speak. I, I really like that. It's pretty cool. It's It builds an immersion of this being, like, an actual lab, you know? Uh, there's that incandescent hulk that we pulped. And so I, I, we almost need to go down, but I think there's like one way up here, and then I think I was scouting things out, and there's something out over here as well. Yeah, like there's like this corner here that we can check out. So there's quite a bit we can check out over to the right. But before we do that, let's go up. I, I think I'm hearing something. I think it's below us. Um, no, what's this? Insane cy Cyborg? So that isn't the one, that, that's not the broken one, no? Oh, we can at least make them our friend. Right? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, it's, it's not the one that will uh, turn into an NPC, but... Better than nothing. Right? It's good to have at least a brain-dead friend. I think. I don't know. Is that better? <laughs> to have a brain-dead friend than to have no friends? I think it is. Oh man, that's like no ammonia. Can I pour that into another container? No. Okay, uh, well... Hold on. I definitely want to bring those things. I would like to get that ammonia, but I'm not gonna carry a gallon jug just for two units. Maybe if we empty out like a bottle or something. I might get that. Yeah, probably not though. I mean, it's two units of ammonia, for goodness sake, you know? Um, can these things have, it doesn't, they didn't have anything in them, but I'm pretty sure those tables can have like some books and stuff. Uh, our mouth is starting to hurt. Okay, well, if that's happening, then I would like to turn that on for a second. And let's have a look see at things. Yeah, now our mouth is no longer um, in the negative. That's good. Uh, there's an energy cola there that's cold. I'm gonna just drink it before it freezes. And that could be a container that we could carry the ammonia with, but it doesn't um, seal, so that is gonna be a problem. Yeah, I'm just gonna basically do this. Oh, look, there's a medium battery right there. Cool. We're actually hardly using our, our bionic power at all. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, some more water. Might just drink that. Just because we can. Our stomach can take it, you know? Um, there's a syringe. I kind of want to get that because it is kind of annoying not having a second or third syringe with like the, all the mutagen and stuff that we're going to be crafting. And uh, sure, free bandages. Always a good thing. What do we have there? Metasoft? I don't know what that's for. And I feel like I have it, 
but I don't know, and it's gonna take like no volume, so it's kind of like, why not, right? Okay. Um, <laughs> the lighter, definitely not using the lighter. Um, sure, we'll loop through here. Oh, there's fungus here. Hmm. Do I have my gas mask? I do. So I think I have actually 100% coverage on all of my body parts. So I could go into this little fungal territory. No, 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 definitely not. That's not happening. That is crazy. Okay, uh, that part of the lab is off limits. Don't go there. Good God. Okay, well maybe we need to get on with exploring this lab before that gets even worse. I don't know if it can get worse than that. If they're like gonna spawn beyond those doors or like what, like how that works. But uh, I just got a sense of urgency. Like honestly. Okay, yeah, this sense of urgency means stop messing around with that. Uh, library, sure. Yep, nice. If we are gonna get mutagen, this is the chance to get mutagen recipes. Right? I mean, come on. We've gone into like multiple labs. Uh, what's that? Uh, I'm just, I'm really curious about that. What is that? Uh, nothing I can craft with it. Okay, so it's like completely useless. It sounds like a useful book. I don't understand. Um, I'm just gonna look through here. Knife Fighter's notes might be moderately useful. Like, moderately. Okay, there's... yeah. Unfortunately, not a whole lot going on here. Um... Sure, we'll just see what it teaches us. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be... oh, cutting to three? Sure, I'll, I think I'll take that, because that, I think, actually could help our friend. And modern tanner? Oh, uh, that's probably survival, right? Or trapping. Uh, it's too big to pick up. It's not going to be anything like extraordinary, so I'm not even going to bother, to be honest. Okay, and we're at a comfortable temperature now. It's good. Um, I might, though, if that's the case, uh, turn this off. There was another medium battery, though, that we did just see a little bit ago, so it's not the end of the world if we kept that on, I don't, I don't think. But uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, let's go down here. I'm pretty sure we want to go down here. And then... Keep on going down. And this is the entrance, right? The main entrance. And then, yeah, that's where we got that stuff by going through that wall. I was actually pretty happy with that. I thought it was kind of clever. Okay, there's some downstairs there. There's some sort of room in here. Which I am curious about, but also... Not sure if I want to phase in there quite yet. Hello, insane cyborg. Are you your friendly? Yes. I vaguely remember that cyborg. Um, what do we have in here? Nothing. Okay, cool. In our empty room, basically. Wow, this is like a, a total grid. This uh, series of room, lie powder. I believe that is. Uh, something that is moderately useful for crafting like mutagen, right? Maybe not. Okay, um, is that what I think it is? Yeah, it's autoclave. That's that's kind of interesting. I didn't know that you could get out there. That does make sense though. Oh, uh, that one's out of battery. Um, okay. We are doing pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty happy with what we've gotten here so far. Test tube rack. I was wondering what that tile was. Okay, uh, blob gob. Definitely gotta pick that up. And we're chilly again. I'm going to only actually like warm us up though once we start getting um like actual pain. You know what I mean? Like we can last for a little while, especially at this level. So it's kind of like why push it when we're really gonna need the power on the next level. Is that what I think it is? A small weight scale. That is so cute. I love it. And it is the, actually one of the most reliable ways to actually measure 
that stuff, but you know. Um, oh, we actually are at max capacity, really? Okay, well if that's the case, maybe I should dump some stuff. Um, our power is like totally fine. Hmm. Why don't we eat that and I think, I don't know, if I drank that, should I then be able to dump the, uh, yep, the can? Then maybe I'll be able to pick that up. Yep, cool. All right. So that's pretty good for this level, actually. I think that we pretty much cleared out the level because um, I believe this had a turret in it, right? Yep. Okay, so there's a turret there. I turn my flashlight off. Unfortunately, this room does have a light, but we can smash those. If you didn't know, if you hold S, you can smash those lights. So we can do something like this, and then we can look in here, and we should be able to get some pot shots off at this guy. I don't know. It's been a while since I've done this, but I think we should be able to then, like, get a shot off on them. Have they noticed me? Um, I don't think they have. So if I stand there, I'm safe. I'm totally safe. Okay, cool. So I think I, I can um, possibly get a shot off on you. Uh, it doesn't actually seem to say that I can. Maybe I need to open the second door. Okay, that's... Uh, I need to be careful here. Because I don't want to be putting myself in the line of sight. So if I go and I want to... I'm just gonna... But because if I get like one button click here wrong because of the new auto open thing... Okay, good. I think that that should be good. And then we'll go here. And then I think, yeah, we can get a shot off. Let's take a nice aim shot and hit them. And they collapsed. Oh, no way. Look at all of those bullets. That is insane. That is, like, seriously insane. 1,600 bullets. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. I literally am speechless. I don't even know what to... How I'm going to deal with all those bullets. Um... Well, I guess we we just uh, solved our, our <laughs> ranged long-term uh, <clears throat> strategy. Uh, I would like to uh, download the local maps, yes. That's a pretty easy console to hack, and it should tell me, yeah, everything around here. So it tells me a good chunk about what's in the city. It's kind of nice. What's this over here? A substation, yeah, a substation. So I have like some technicians. Yeah, it looks like a dump. I probably want to check that out too. Is that is that what I think it is? Another lab? Oh, dude, we got another lab. So we can go there and then kind of use that to kind of loop back up here. Yeah, because we want to go there to get back to our our home. I've honestly, this map has gotten so out of control. I just went like hunting, and so. <laughs> It's kind of hard for me to know exactly where our base is, but there's Freaky Town there, and then if we keep on going over here, there's the evac shelter base right there, which I really should get back to. I really do want to go back to, but um, this has just been too much fun, man. Okay, so I think let's get our flashlight on. Let's have a little peek. Yeah, that looks, that looks fine to me. Looks safe enough. Uh, what do we have in here? Okay, just some uh, weird rooms. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and get this library cracked open. Nice. Okay. Nice. Wow, we really have gotten pretty good with computers then if we, uh, we have been able to hack all the stuff successfully. Like, totally, completely successfully. Um, is that what I think it is? Is that the, the series of books about the aliens? 
Uh, no, it's it's an actual useful book. Okay, cool. That's probably a good thing for us to have. And I think we probably need to go drop off our loot if I'm looking at things right now. Fruit, not even able to carry our gun right now. Yeah, let's go up to the surface. Maybe see if we can grab any uh, bullets. Um, maybe not. I don't know. That is a lot of bullets. Maybe I should take that up first. Yeah, let's take that up first. Okay, that looks good. And our friend is going to follow us. Hello, friend. Oh, something um, below us is smashing a lot. That is somewhat concerning. I don't want them destroying the lab. Could be fungus, you know? Yeah, I feel like I, I really do need to get down there. So let's unload things. Yeah, with the, all the Z levels happening at the same time, we're gonna have some issues like this. Uh, down here. Uh, nope, some fell down. Wow, we have so many bullets, it's gonna actually make us have a problem with our capacity um, for all of our loot here, I think. It could, at least. I don't know if it will, but it, it definitely could. Um, the knife fire notes I should have my friend be reading, but... We'll deal with it when we get to it, you know. Sure, all of that looks good to unload, and I'll reload my gun. Our flashlight, you know, we have those actual batteries with us, so I think we're okay. Um, yeah, let's get back in there, right? I would like to um, get our friend um, some more combat experience, but I think right now it's like we have like labs and a strange temple all in a cluster. I just feel like I've been I've been blessed with the content, you know. Um, I am very curious about what is in here. Let's uh, let's get our gun out just in case. And we've got tons of power, we've got tons of batteries, so we should be able to get back. Let's turn that on. Hey, hey, look at that. Oh man, that was worth it. Um, yeah, look at that. There's even cattle serum. I mean, I've been working my butt off to get us some cattle serum, and there's some right there. Mutagenic serum, that's, ah, that's a little sketchy. Okay, that's, uh, let's just wait couple minutes um, yeah keep on waiting um, that's good and then probability travel yep that's good cool does the does it pop for you guys or is it just my mics when it like the track for the labs starts back up there um, we can get rid of that bullets label yeah that's fine um, and that's uh, yeah, we're getting our power back, it's fine. But I think that we've we've gone and explored everything, haven't we? I just want to do one more check. Just because I feel like I might be being forgetful or miss a spot. And that can be so bad. If you miss a spot in a lab, like it could lead to a whole new section. And there's that fungal section up there. Who who knows how big that fungal section is up there? But I think there's this way down here that's close to the stairs. There's also any other ways down? There's also that over there. I'm gonna go down here because it's further away from the fungus. Um, but it actually sounds like oh, um, that looks that's the finale room. Okay, so they've been fighting a bunch of um, zombies. Okay, well, I'm glad that I peeked down here. Autonomous surgical scalpels. That is, that's pretty cool. I would like that. And heat drain. And there's some good CBMs there. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm not going down there. <laughs> um, well, that's the finale. So, finale. Hello. That's what we've been hearing everything, all that noise is them shooting zombies. And if I really wanted to defeat them. Uh-oh. Uh, that dissector almost dissected our friend it looked like there but he looks like he's fine um so let's see yeah i think 
I'm gonna need to be smart about how I engage in that. I think honestly the smartest thing is not engaging it and just kind of hanging out for a few days and letting the zombies um, wear out the robots in terms of their bullets. And then I might send like a man hack or two down there just to kind of see if they shoot at it. And if they if it does, then I'll just wait some more. I might also see if I can lure some some enemies towards them. Uh, we are very cold at this point, so I am going to turn that on. Yeah. And then what's is this saying? It's for the finale. That's for a bionic vault. Okay. Um, how's my speed now? I think my speed is slow. That does make me a little bit nervous. Also, we're taking a little bit of damage and we're kind of in pain. So I'm just going to turn those on for a little bit. I would like to check out that Bionic Vault. But there's something definitely, I think, right here. Okay, there's some blobs. Eh, that's fine. Blobs is not, like, the end of the world. They're just kind of loud. They could, uh, they could draw the attention of other things. Southwest, I'm hearing glass breaking. Northwest and above. Connection failed, so something is talking in robotic voices above us. Is that a hop flower? Is that what you need for making actual hops? No, you'd like a hop rhizome, right? Yeah. I know in real life you need like rhizomes. I'm pretty sure that's what it is called in game two. Okay, so it looks like we're we're okay here. So that's all the blobs, and that looks like an interesting little device there. Um, one of my students would say that it looks like a something for consuming uh, smokable goods. Like honestly, one of my students said that about like a, a, a gosh, what was it? It was some sort of like test to. Um, no, it was a graduate cylinder. That's what it was. it was. Yeah, it was totally a graduate cylinder. Yeah, I need to be careful here. We're uh, we're getting a little cold. What's the manifest? Gasoline cell. A uh, heat drain. Sure. I think the heat drain we're gonna get from the other room, but I don't know if I want to go into the other room just quite yet. The gasoline cell CVM. That is pretty cool. And the cable charger. It's a good one. Oh, is it telling me the inventory for everything on this floor? And because it looks like the other stuff's not here in the vault. Okay. Um, good to know. Definitely gonna need to keep our charge up though. That's gonna start being an issue for us with the temperature. And we're chilly, so it's not so bad. That's like not nearly as bad as it can be. Um, we are moving though at like half of our normal speed, a little bit less than like maybe a third of our normal speed I think is what it's saying there. Uh, we are also taking damage on our body parts. So this isn't going to be sustainable to be diving in here like this. Um, there's a turret right there. We could do kind of like what we did last time, um, but it's only one door thick there, and so I don't think it's going to be feasible to do that. Um, I think we're going to need to do explosives to take that one out. Um, I need to, yeah, be really careful about this, because I could just totally forget about that and then just get destroyed. There's not really any other options besides explosions um, for that. I think that there's something behind that door there. Just kind of open this up. Kind of see what's around us. And yeah, it looks like we're okay. Uh, blobs, okay. Oh man, they got out. <laughs> That's annoying. Can I just run around them? Yes, I can take that blobs um, I think I got away maybe not maybe this is really dumb cornering myself 
with blobs behind me. Yeah, I think that this is dumb. I should just kill him. They're, they're so much quicker than me, is my concern. But I think that if I shoot them, I'll be safe. The, the real concern is uh, actually, do I have a cool gun? I do. Go ahead and get that out then. These guys are actually so weak, the coil gun should be an appropriate weapon against them. Cool. Um, sure, I'm gonna... Awesome, this is actually working perfectly. Oh, I wasn't aiming there. <laughs> My bad. Breaking the glass. Um, got a blob blob though. Uh, oh, hold on. There's a big one. There's a couple big ones. I think we're gonna want the actual gun for that. Yeah. Excuse me. We'll just let you get a little bit closer. <clears throat> That's close enough though. Really? They took a bullet. There we go. Sure, we'll, t we'll pick up a couple blob gobs. Uh, stop running, please. Is there still... There's still one right here. Okay. There we go. Let me just get a little bit more distance between us. There we go. Looks good. And let's see, nothing really in there. Um, oh, our power is not on. Let's stop sensory dulling and nanobots for now because it's just using up power when it doesn't need to, you know? Uh, it sounds like something might be... Northwest, I heard plop. I think that might be a Shogoth. But I need to be careful. I could easily get um, overran by a Shogoth in these temperatures. Uh, something smashed down the, that wall, I think, or that door. Right? What it looks like. But I'm not seeing any actual enemies. Huh. That is curious. Something. Something. Was going wump around here. Hmm. That is quite curious, actually. Oh. It's a, there's a chaser right here. Really? That destroyed all that stuff. There ha it has to be more, yeah. That's what I thought. Get a pack of chasers, but still. Really, chasers did so much damage. Hello. Any more of you? I think there might be. No. Okay. Looks like we're good now. Still some? Okay. And there's one under all of our bullets. Of course. We've got a pile of bullets and there's, of course, a zombie underneath that. Naturally. Um, I do only have four bullets on our current magazine there, so I'm going to just, um... Get another magazine in. <clears throat> I mean... We'll still carry the four... Oh, what? What? That Hulk? What did it kill? Some sort of robot or something. That is, uh... That <laughs> We're getting close to the finale room. So I think that might have been an explosive or something that took that Hulk out. And I'm also not wanting to kill that Hulk because that might be the key to killing the robots. Because if you look at the over map there, we're getting pretty darn close to the room where those robots were in. Um pH meter and tin. That sounds very useful. I'm sure it's actually super useful for late game. As is is typical with cataclysm. Random chemistry stuff has been getting a huge boost in game recently, which I cannot be happier about, honestly. Like I I'm you know, I'm a science teacher if I'm pretty sure you are aware of that at this point if you're watching this series. But you might not be. Um, 
Okay, so this looks like, yeah, the the room is like literally right there. Yeah, I'm getting a little nervous. Don't want to get one shot by robots. Um, there are dead zombies around. And there's plenty of robots that are in that room when we were just there, so I think we'll, we'll go exploring other places for now. Uh, that sounds like there might be something on the other side of that tower kind of close. So I'm just gonna take it easy. See if maybe, maybe I can get that um, medical mutagen that I've been I've been dreaming about. I mean, the raptor mutagen was pretty sweet. I, I really shouldn't complain. It's not that I'm complaining though, you know that, right? You know that RNG. I would never complain. Don't forsake me. Okay, um, we are getting to 35 minutes. And so I think we should be probably ending this pretty soon. Um, okay, let's just take that out really quick. It was easy. Before we do that though, let's maybe, let's just, uh, it's so hard to know when to call it, you know, because there's these labs, because they're procedurally generated, you never know what's behind the doors. And this could just keep on going up and up and up. Like, honestly. And it does. What the heck? Uh, there's something on the other side of it, though. That is insane. Like, honestly. That is just I was just, like, trying to prove a point there by walking up and up and up, but it just kept on going. <laughs> oh, man. I do have to say that labs have to be, like, one of my favorite in-game locations, you know? It's just, like, they're just... And the rooms are weird like this sometimes, and I could totally have gotten teleported there and that would have been really bad. Um, is this the special room that's like, hey, supercomputer room? Yeah, it is. Like the Malachor or whatever. Um, I'm gonna name this Computer. And then I think there was, yeah, there's a turret there. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So there's a turret right by the computer. And there's some blobs there, and I mean, I don't really need that journal. More northwest and above, so we're, we've got the triffids above us here. So it's loud. So I anticipate there might be some zombies or something around here. A shock cannon. I was wondering what on earth that was. Hmm. I think this might be a good point to end the episode. It's us getting a shock cannon. I mean, we'll have to test it out, but I think we'll do that maybe in the next one. That is crazy. We have a shock cannon, guys. I don't think you can make it. Oh, man. Can be modified to take UPS usage. That is... So what is it? Fires electricity in a rampant matter, not quite a Tesla cannon. Crowd control device. Okay. So, good for shooting electricity at enemies. Yeah, I think that we want to specialize in that, then. Um, and we can do atomic or military shotgun. Okay, very, very interesting. I am super intrigued by that. In any case, I'm going to end this episode. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.